Hello, subscribers. This is yours truly, JBlue68, coming to you with my next unboxing video of one of my favorite franchises, The Lord of the Rings. Before we get into this unboxing, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, for liking, sharing, and commenting. Please continue to do so, and tap the notification bell so you get more videos like this as I post them immediately. Uh, well, this particular item has been out for a while. It's been out for a long time. Um, I didn't know it, it actually existed. I have a Lord of the Rings collection. And um, as I've said before, I know there's a lot of political controversy concerning uh, the, the story of Lord of the Rings. Nonetheless, I still enjoy it for the uh, essence of the good versus evil type thing. And we could define or get into an argument or debate what good and what evil is. Um, so, but we won't do that in this video. <laughs> this is an unboxing video. And I cannot lie, I've already done a partial unboxing of it because there were a lot of uh, the, uh, what is it, those plastic twisty things and uh, these little braces, these little braces right here that come inside of the, uh, the toy. There was a lot of that. And I didn't want to waste you guys' time uh, getting uh, all that stuff out of these things right here, getting that stuff out of the uh, box. So I did a partial unboxing already. And as I said, this uh, particular uh, toy, this is very old. Uh, I bought this when I was at the Extravacon about three weeks ago. I did a video uh, when I was there. It's a, a toy show out in Livonia, Michigan. A gentleman was selling this for a very, very low price. I got this for kind of a steal. I was searching around on eBay, on Amazon and eBay to see if I could find it. It's nowhere, it was nowhere on um, Amazon, but it was on eBay. I think this thing was originally 50 bucks or more, 50 bucks or more. Uh, the box was not in that good of a condition. It looks like the owner probably had it in his, to in his toy show or in his, in his shop or maybe even his, in his home for years, you know, but I still commend him because it could have been in worse shape than what it was when I bought it. And here's the rest of the box here. You can kind of see some damage on it. There's some dust on it. I'm not worried about worried about cleaning any of, any of that off because again we're going to unbox it. Um, and as you can see, you know he comes with one swap out head and a, and a fish because you know of course Gollum ate raw fish. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Um, this is an electronic talking go go Gollum. It has 22, 22 phrases uh, as Smeagol and as Gollum. Um, and it actually shows the, the uh, some of the phrases that he uses. Uh, this is from The Return of the King, Lord of the Rings. And of course, as, if you've been following the series or are interested in Lord of the Rings, you know, there's a series on, I think it's Prime, uh, Prime something, uh, called The Power of the Ring. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but I, I've, I've heard that season two is pretty good. Um, we're going to read what it says in the back of the box here. This is the... It gives a little history of uh, Gollum. It says, so so named for the foul gurgle he makes in his throat. Gollum, Gollum, Gollum. I can't really imitate the voice that well, but Gollum is a pitiable and wretched creature, enslaved by the desire for the one ring. His need for, his, for it drives him relentlessly, corrupting his mind and twisting his tiny body into a mangled, sinewy echo of his former self and his a weary frame, a fearsome debate, debate rages between his two selves, Smeagol, the tortured bones of his uh, old identity, and Gollum, his spiteful new uh, self, born of the domination of the ring. In his uh, debate, Gollum fights to convince himself to betray his sworn master, Frodo, and take the witch, and take that which he craves. And as it says here, um, uh, uh, his former self, uh, Gollum, or fo formerly known as Smeagol, uh, Smeagol was actually one of the Shire folk, I believe. Um, yeah, he was one of the Shire folks, similar to Frodo Baggins and Bilbo Baggins. Uh, uh, and again, his lust for the ring, it deformed him. And he killed his brother. Uh, I think I, I forgot his brother's name was. And it, it sh they showed it in the movie. And the, uh, there was a, a prologue they did in the uh, Return of the King where they actually show his history, what he did. Uh, and then it says on the side here, three rings for the elven kings under the sky, seven for the dwarf lords in their halls of stone, nine for mortal men, 
doomed to die. One for the Dark Lord on his dark throne in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them and all in the darkness bind them. In the land of Mordor where shadows lie. And of course, if you don't know, the actor, the brilliant actor who portrays this character is Andy Serkis, who is actually at New York Comic Con this weekend. New York Comic Con started on Thursday, October 17th. It lasts through this Sunday, the 21st. And he will actually be at our Comic Con. Uh, I live in Michigan. He'll be at the Motor City Comic Con, to my understanding, next month. I'm going to see if I can get him maybe to autograph this. I don't know if I'll get him to autograph this box because, again, it's kind of jacked up. Uh, I have something else I can get him to autograph because he played also as um, Caesar in the Planet of the Apes. He's also been in a, a couple of Marvel movies. He was in the Black Panther, so on, so on, etc. And Andor, uh, the Star Wars uh, series. So, so yeah. Um, yep, but he's the voice of the character. I actually tested out the batteries on this too. Um, and the batteries have been in here for a long time. So the sound of the character, you probably, it's probably going to be kind of low because again, the batteries are low. Um, and they probably be, the batteries have probably been in this thing, uh, since it was purchased. And I love this diorama in the background. It's actually of Middle Earth. It gives all the different uh, cities and lands um, on in Middle Earth. Let's put, let's put a little bit more light on this. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, that's an excellent sculpt too, by the way. And um, he's sitting on some kind of stone, uh, looks like. Uh, let's see if we can get him... Uh, get the box completely unboxed. But yeah, uh, so he's voiced by Andy Serkis. And of course, we've seen Gollum in both the Lord of the Rings films and in the, uh, the Hobbit films, which did not get that much praise as the Lord of the Rings did. Uh, let's see. I don't want to damage this. It looks like I may not have any choice. Oh, there's another little plastic wrappy thing around, uh, twisty thing around his feet. So actually, I, I probably just will leave it like this right now. So I want to get him out of the uh, this plastic without damaging the um, the mat in the background, if that's possible to do. Yep, there he is. Pop right out. Okay. So, stand him up. You see his little ugly feet there. Again, this is a very, 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 very well done sculpt. Something like this now. I think this is made probably back. Oh, by the way, it's made by Toy Biz. This is made back in the early 2000s, if I'm correct. Oh, it doesn't really bend. There's no articulation at the knee. I'm sorry. Uh, something like this now will probably cost probably about a hundred bucks on up. This is very, very high quality. Oh, I didn't say how much I got it for <laughs> when I was at the toy show. Uh, got this for 15 bucks. 15 bucks, man. Let's do, if we can, a close-up shot of the face. Let's see. And we'll do the voices, uh, electronic voices in a moment. You can see that. See his ugly mug. That is really well done. Very, very well done. And then, and then, and then, and then, let's lower the camera again. Oh, and then his little, um, what is this? His little loincloth is made actually of cloth. This is not plastic. Again, this is high quality, man. Toy Biz did a really good job on this. And again, I think this was manufactured back in 2004. Um, here are the two buttons. It's one here and one there. Let's test them out. So you can barely hear that.
So that's the one button. That's when he's that's him as Gollum. I guess the other one is him as Smeagol. I hope you can hear that. Uh, that would have been cool too of the mouth move when he talks. Uh, let's do a couple more. Okay. All right. So, yeah, this is a. Uh, so this is basically it. Um, I hope I didn't bore you guys and um, that you've enjoyed this unboxing. I'm just going to leave it right this like this right now because I got to figure out how to get him out, uh, get the uh, little stone thing out too without again damaging the rest of this, uh, the rest of the the, the uh, map back there. So I want to try to keep it in some kind of decent shape. Okay, well thank you all for joining me again. I hope that you've enjoyed this unboxing of uh, Smeagol Gollum. Uh, from the Lord of the Rings. And um, for all of those of you who are out at New York Comic Con, I hope that you enjoy the con. I'm sorry I was not able to join or go to the con this year. I had plans on going, but unfortunately those plans were deterred. But I do want to be at, I do plan on being hopefully at uh, Motor City Comics Con Fall Edition, which will be uh, November next month. All right. Thanks so much for joining me again. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And tap the notification bell so you can get more vids like this as I post them immediately. Peace, love, and hair grease.